Hi, this is Steve with Jetters Northwest, and we're here with our Brute 4009 portable jetter, also available, of course, as a mountable skid or a 3,012 gallon a minute. Uh, but the purpose of today's video is to show you the two different connections you can make to feed water to the jetter, either a garden hose or a water hose from a spigot, or how you can connect to an auxiliary tank. Here we're showing our portable 50 gallon tank, but you can use certainly any tank size that you may already have or one of our larger tanks. So we'll make the connections here in a moment. Okay, we'll start out with the hose bib or garden hose connection. Just a typical three quarter inch garden hose thread coming into a typical three quarter inch garden hose swivel. And there it is. You might want to snug it up with a channel lock to prevent some dripping. And there is a float level valve inside this buffer tank, which will stop the water flow when the tank is full. And you can see that we've used a nice three quarter inch industrial water hose here. We're not using a cheap garden hose from the hardware store. And another tip is try not to have big long lengths of garden hose or a hose off of your hose bib because you're relying on the house pressure to push it through all that hose and friction loss comes into play. Best to try to keep your hoses as short as possible for your incoming water when you're running a high flow jetter like a Brute off of the buffer tank or the hose bib feeding the buffer tank. Okay, when hooking the Brute jetter to an auxiliary water tank, we actually have two connections to make. We have, of course, the water supply line, which is a nice big inch and a half line. And then we have a return line. As the jetter is not jetting and recirculating, we don't want to recirculate to this tank while we're drawing from this tank. We want to recirculate to the auxiliary tank. So that's what this connection is for. So the moves we need to make is, um, number one, we close off this water tank with this knife valve, simply push it in. And then we will take off the cam coupler some of yours might have a pipe plug and you'll have to install the cam coupler, depending on how you bought your machine. Then the female cam coupler coming from our water tank simply connects there. If yours is the threaded connection from one of our mounted tanks on like a skid mount jetter, uh, you'll be putting pipe dope on that fitting and threading it in for a hard connection. Then the connection for return line is a simple quick coupler like a pressure washer, except this is a larger half inch line connects in right here, with the male coupler sticking out. And then there's the yellow handle valve. You pull that out so it's pointing away from the jetter. Now we're ready to draw water from this tank and return water back to it. So there you have it. Whether you want to draw from a garden hose and feed the buffer tank, whether you want to draw water from a larger tank and have more capacity, small tank or large, the connections are simple and straightforward. But if you have any questions, certainly do give us a call, 877. 901-1936. Again, this is Steve with Jetters Northwest, and get jetting. Again, this is Steve Jones with Jetters Northwest. Thanks so much for watching today. Check out more of our videos on our YouTube site. Just search Jetters Northwest, and check out our website, jettersnorthwest.com. Thanks again, and happy jetting.